You know, it's funny how we can believe that we are created in God's image and then recreate God in ours. A letter to the man standing on the corner holding a sign that said, God hates gays. You know, I've never seen exactly who it is that you paper clip your knees, melt your hands together and pray to, but I think I know what he looks like. I bet your God's about 5'10". Bet he weighs 185. He probably stands the way a high school diploma does when it's next to a GED. I bet your God. Bet your God has a mullet. I bet he wears flannel shirts with no sleeves, a fanny pack, and says words like, get her done. I bet your God. Bet your God plays a banjo. I bet he watches Fox News, Dog the Bounty Hunter, voted for Donald Trump, and loves Bill O'Reilly. I bet your God's a politician from Arizona. I bet his high school served racism in the cafeteria and offered hate speech as a second language. I bet he has a swastika on the inside of his throat and racial slurs tattooed to his tongue just to make intolerance more comfortable in his mouth. I bet he has a burning cross as a middle finger and Jim Crow underneath his nails. Your God is a Confederate flag's wet dream conceived on, his, on a day when the sky decided to slice her own wrist. I bet your God has a drinking problem. I bet he sees the bottom of a shot glass more often than his own children. I bet he pours whiskey on his dreams until they taste like good ideas. Probably cusses like an electric guitar with Tourette's plugged into an ocean. I bet he yells like a schizophrenic nail gun damaging all things that care about him enough to get close. I bet there are angels in heaven with black eyes and broken halos who claim they fell down the stairs. I bet your God, I bet your God would have made Eve without a mouth and taught her how to spread her legs like a magazine that she will never be pretty enough to be in. Sooner or later, you'll realize that you are praying to your own shadow, that you are standing in front of mirrors and worshiping your own reflection. Your God stole my God's identity. So next time you bend your knees, next time you bow your head, I want you to tell your God that my God is looking for him. Thank you.